my mom is she was forced to drop out of high school and as she dropped out she moves to the city starts drinking gets involved in alcohol and she was married and divorced several times and eventually had six kids uh, different fathers uh, for some of them and you know it was kind of a, a family that was just filled with uh, I don't know brokenness she never could get away from alcohol. She tried, she did different things. She really wanted to be a good mom. They, they really loved us, but alcohol had consumed her life in so many ways. You know, I ended up meeting Jesus through a church in Rapid City, which was incredible, just changed my life. I ended up going to Bible college, becoming a pastor, and things for her just started to get uh, worse. You know, she would say, I pray every day, I go to church. She, she would say those things, but you didn't have any evidence. And when you would call her, you didn't know if she was drunk or not because she had drank so much. She started going to church with my brother at Fountain Springs, and they were doing a baptism Sunday. And, you know, they were going, getting towards the end of the service. And um, I think the pastor's name is David. David had said something about coming up, uh, you know, God is calling some people in my uh, my sister-in-law looks over and my mom is like taking off up the aisle. She said, it, she just had to go, it's time. And like you see that like she normally needed a walker and she goes up and, a, um, and she gets baptized. This is something you vote for like for so long. And then it happened and then that Wednesday we get a phone call that she had fallen and had a stroke. That, um, and so uh, that Easter uh, Sunday, she uh, she passed away. Like she never recovered from that. So I remember we went to Easter services uh, with my twin brother while my mom was still in the hospital. She hadn't yet passed away, and we're in the Easter services, and it was you know four days in the hospital, and, and she was kind of in the coma from the stroke. And we went, and my nephew went with. And I remember they, they gave an invitation and my nephew stood up. And I remember looking over and going, this is really happening. Out of that though, his mom and his sister have both been baptized at Fountain Springs in the last uh, six months. And so I have six family members who have uh, uh, come and surrendered their life to Jesus through Fountain Springs. And I, my mom's story, one of uh, such difficulty and struggle, and then to see that happen. And you become grateful for people who are willing to love someone who doesn't know Jesus, to accept uh, uh, an older alcoholic lady that was sometimes difficult to deal with, but uh, was a fighter that loved uh, her family. And the see a church and a group of people that are willing to do that to love people um, is incredible.